as though you're intimidated by using a soldering iron like this, a traditional soldering iron, well, I have for you the solution. This is the uh, cold heat cordless soldering iron. Okay. Um, I bought this, I don't know, probably about five, six years ago. I do use it um, from time to time. Um, this particular soldering iron uh, is one of the irons I keep in my um, in my gig bag uh, when the band goes out and plays uh, shows. So if I have to do a quick repair uh, on the spot, you know, if I have to fix a, a cable or something like that, um, I keep this with me. Um, this is basically, it's, it's cordless, as you can see, there's no wires. It runs on four AA batteries, which are underneath this cover. And um, it, it's, it's for light use. It's not, you know, you're not going to uh, break out, you know, uh, 12 gauge wire and wire up, uh, you know, an audio system or a subsystem in your car and solder with this thing. It's not, you know, it's not meant for that. It's for light duty uh, soldering. And I think it's ideal for the person who is thinking of having, you know, the capability on hand in case there is an emergency or a disaster. So basically, um, again, it runs off of four AA batteries. It has the on off switch right here. So when it's on, it has a handy dandy work light, which is kind of cool. And as you can see, it has two electrodes. Now it's on, okay? Watch this. Oh my, oh ouch, the pain, the agony. No, there's nothing there. There's no heat. Okay? That's what's cool about these soldering irons. Um, so, it doesn't actually heat up until these electrodes, these two electrodes right here, come into contact with your work. So, let's, uh, let's do a quick little demonstration here. We'll keep the, the cold heat iron running. And we'll take, um, you know, I took two pieces of wire here and I stripped off the insulation and let's say we had to do a quick repair so we're just going to twist these wires together okay and then we're going to do is we're going to uh, solder that so let me zoom in a little bit tighter here and then um, the, the, the trick to this iron is that you need to make sure that the uh, electrodes are in contact with your work and your work is basically the metal the conductive metal in this case it's copper and right here um, is a little lamp and that'll glow red when the iron is correctly touching your work so let's just go ahead and um, touch that down there There's the red light, okay? And you don't need, you really don't need to put any pressure, okay? You don't need to put any pressure. And we're just going to go ahead and tin this up, take it off, and check it out. Okay? No burn. That's a solder tip right there. Okay? No burn, no owie, and look at that. How cool is that? So there you got um, these two wires here were basically these two wire ends were repaired um, just using a cordless soldering iron that runs off of four double a batteries and you again one of the other benefits is you get the 
uh, work light so you can illuminate your area and then you get this red lamp right here this little LED and as soon as that glows red go ahead and touch your solder to the you know to the wire that you're working on and then of course you want to have a little piece of solder as well you know um, and you, again you're not using really any pressure you're just making contact you know with your work and then that red light comes on you can see there it is and you just touch it and off you go and you can solder and it'll work great so and the one of the bonuses is is that the tip doesn't get you know you don't have to clean the tip after you're done um, it's cold to the touch you can see it's cold to the touch and when you're done you just power it off and it's got this little cap thing and there you go this is the Radio Shack cordless soldering iron powered by cold heat technology um, if I recall correctly this was about when I when I bought it, it was about uh, 20 28 dollars 29 dollars somewhere around there um, put it in your toolbox or you know keep it uh, with your electronic stuff your wiring and all that and it has its own little storage case I broke mine that's why I have to use this tape but uh, there you go nice heavy plastic there you go so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and um, I hope that somebody out there gets something out of this and uh, this is a great little device to have as part of your uh, preparations for a disaster. So this is Renaissance Man, and uh, how you doing?